Greetings, friends. Thank you for checking out my uh, channel today. Um, I am new to streaming. Um, definitely been a viewer for quite some time, but uh, just started streaming myself recently. And built a new PC uh, a couple of months ago, and I went with the Core i7 uh, chip. I figured it would be plenty fast enough for gaming and maybe even streaming um, if I decided to go into that. Um, but what I found recently is with some of the newer games um, that the Core i7 being limited to only eight cores and no hyper threading um, can present uh, challenges. So um, I've been streaming on YouTube for a few days now and notice that uh, occasionally throughout my stream for a few minutes at a time I will exceed 5% uh, or more drop frames even uh, sometimes as high as 7 and 8% so it got me to thinking um, do I need uh, an i9 you know the i9 because it has hyper threading and those additional 8 cores um, theoretically it has 8 physical cores with the hyper threading, it gives it, it gives it 16 threads, 16 cores uh, to your operating system. So you're basically it's almost like having two um, processors because you're getting double the the, the amount of uh, of threads. So theoretically, if you're streaming and gaming on the same PC, um, you should get better performance. So before I swap out my i9, um, which I bought earlier today. Um, before I swap out my i7 to the i9 rather, I wanted to just do a couple of quick tests, show you some performance numbers, uh, and then I'll do it again afterwards and see if it makes a difference. You know, I know a lot of people probably debate this same thing. Um, you know, and outside of this, really the only other path would be probably a, a separate PC for for the streaming that you could do, uh, you could do capture on, and then do your main PC for gaming. Um, that, you know, of course, that's like probably the 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 most legit setup as far as performance goes. But most people, you know, don't want to go down that route. Um, they either don't want to have two different PCs, uh, don't want to spend the extra money, um, don't have the desk desk space per se. Um, I don't really want to do any of that. I'd rather just have one PC, multiple screens, and do everything from from one uh, system. So let's jump over to my desktop and I'm going to show you real quick um, what's going on. So as you can see here, um, here's the, the processor that I currently have. Um, I like Micro Center. They're, they're, there's a local one to me. Um, and they seem to have really good prices on CPUs and motherboards and, you know, in general hardware, um, PC hardware in general. So. You know, 349 is the current i7 price. I think I paid 399. It was right before Christmas, so it's a little bit cheaper now. Um, and if you look at the specs, you can scroll down here. You'll see uh, eight core and eight threads. So no hyper threading, um, which you know, if you're just going to be gaming um, and not gaming and streaming at the same time, or depending on the game you're streaming, maybe that's fine. Um, but for me. Um, I'm starting to see some issues with certain games, some of the newer games especially. We can get into that uh, in a few minutes. Um, so here is the uh, the other chip. You know, this is basically the, without going to the extreme, you know, core, extreme, you know, $1,000, whatever chips, um, this is pretty much top of the line. Uh, so 449 so only $100 more right now. Um, I believe when I purchased my other one for 299 this was $499. Um, but I, I could be mistaken. It's been a while. So basically, 100 bucks more um, than the uh, than the i7, and you're getting double the number of threads. So if you look at the specs on this one, so again, eight core. Um, the turbo speed is, you know, 100 uh, megahertz faster, I believe. So uh, this one is. Yeah, pass that up there. 4.9 turbo, 3.6 base, and the i9 is 3.6 base and 5 gig turbo, so just slightly faster. Does have more level 3 cache, so 16 megs compared to 12, you know, and that is needed when you're running uh, the hyper threading with more cores. So 
again, um, eight cores, just like the, uh, the i7, but it has hyper-threading, so that means you're getting 16 processing threads. So um, basically almost like having an additional i7. You know, not exactly, but, you know, you'll get the idea, right? Um, just to give you an idea of where everything is today, so you can see here, got my processor, i7 9700K, 3.6, all eight cores. Um, so this is, so I've got my Streamlabs running. Um, I am streaming currently to YouTube and private mode. Uh, got some Google Chrome tabs open, you know, just general stuff. Um, you can see you're idling around 20 some CPU percentage memories at 30. Um, and then, you know, look at the resource monitor, you can see per core what's being used. So total, again, 20, 20 ish. Um, and then you've got the individual cores. So what if we fire up a game? So the game I've been playing recently is uh, Wolsing, Lords of uh, Mayhem. And for whatever reason, I don't know if it's bad code, um, if it's just a very demanding game using the Cry Engine, um, it just maxes the CPU, um, you know, uh, most of the time. It's in the you know mid. 80s to low 90s just for the game itself so and I'll show you that uh, when I load it up here so I'm going to go ahead and launch that and again um, I don't know for sure that the i9 is going to make much difference but I just wanted to do a before and after um, just to see right um, just in case it may be helpful for anyone else. So getting loaded up here, I'm going to go ahead and click play. I'm currently on Act 2, level 23. Um, so still playing the campaign. And I, and I am streaming at 1080p, 60 frames a second. I have some um, pretty aggressive settings in my Streamlabs OBS. I can show you those as well. Um, but I would expect with my system specs that uh, I could get by with that, but we'll see. So, game's running. I'm going to tab back out. See you here. We're sitting at 100% CPU. The game itself is using, you know, like I said, in the 70s, and it'll even spike up into the 80s um, when I'm actually in the game. Um, and I, I'm, I have all the settings turned all the way up. Um, this I'm using a 244 hertz monitor. So uh, I, I do get pretty good uh, performance. You can see here. Um, so I'm, my FPS usually floats in the mid 150 to close to 200 um, range, um, depending on what area I'm in. You know, when I'm fighting, it goes a little bit lower. But um, as far as settings go, uh, full screen, no V-Sync. I don't need that since I have a G-Sync monitor. Um, everything's set to very high so uh, everything's maxed and I did try to, to set this down to high and play around with some of the settings doesn't really seem to affect this CPU as uh, hardly at all okay so tab back out so you can see um, and we'll see if I actually start getting some drop frames um, when, when we're done with this so I played the game for about 20 minutes just wanted to get some uh, performance metrics from Streamlabs. You can see it's, you know, it's still, <clears throat> excuse me, still high 90s and, you know, often spikes to completely 100. And uh, so I'm, you know, still running the game. I said played it for about 20 minutes or so. And then this is what I'm getting. So when I look at my um, performance metrics, so it says my stream quality is good. Um, Here's my CPU usage, 60 FPS, saying, you know, zero drop frames currently, and then here's my bitrate, right? But if you look down here, um, skipped frames detected, so 6% over the last two minutes. Uh, look at this, 20% over the last two minutes, three minutes ago. I mean, you can see 20, 17, 9, 22, 26 of skipped frames. You know, it just means that they, could, they couldn't be processed, right? Because the CPU is just pegged. Is my 
thinking. So we'll swap out to the i9 and we'll see if that helps um, and test it again. Alrighty, so we are back. Um, I have swapped out the i7 with the i9, um, loaded up everything just the way it was before, uh, ran through um, a section of the game, um, the same section that I played through before, so about 15, 20 minutes worth, just to see if I got the same performance uh, or skipped frames. Um, I, say, I was saying drop frames earlier, but it was skipped frames. I was seeing up to highest 20 percent um, so I just did that and as you can see um, you know here is uh, the performance stats um, so you can see processor core i9 9900k 3.6 gig all 16 threads so eight cores 16 threads the task manager stats so you can see the game the sitting right about 40 percent you know between 38 and low 40s so overall CPU usage and I'm, I'm hitting low 50s so I I was hoping this is what would happen um, wasn't sure if I would necessarily see it because we were basically doubling the processing threads right so uh, it, it's exactly what I was hoping would happen um, you can see uh, the resource monitor um, we have all 16 threads now where we had the eight before it's utilizing all of them um, but instead of them all being fully utilized you can see you know they're pretty well load balanced across them um, and then overall getting half of the utilization that I was before so um, <laughs> you know again just to show here's the game you know I uh, didn't change any settings so everything's still very high um, nothing changed there like I said, I ran the same section of the game, so if you want to know where that was, I started here at uh, Galatha Lake, and I went to Daybreakers Valley, so about 15 minutes, because I did do the, the there's an underground dungeon, and I killed all the mobs in between, so same path I took before, um, so, you know, pretty similar test. Um, again, um, <laughs> you know, half of the utilization and if we look at my um, performance metrics so this just puffed up of course <laughs> um, I don't know if that was because of me jumping in and out of the game um, I don't know but you can see one there's one here right five percent over the last two minutes and it just happened a few seconds ago um, but if you look at my percent drop frames still zero and, and I was seeing drop frames before and I should have uh, specified that was skipped frames which on the stream side of going back and watching my replays you can't really tell but um you know i was expecting it to to, to have it and not to have it any at all so you can see here i had a bunch from before that was um you know 17 up into the 20s and then there was a uh, probably 10 different ones it was just constantly skipping frames so just to give you an idea um Here we go. So I am using the hardware, the NVIDIA encoder, the new, you know, that's the probably the recommended when you have. I do have a 2080 Ti so that it's it's not relying on the CPU to encode. Um, constant bit rate, 6,000. Um, you know, I may play with this a little bit, but uh, that seems to be giving me a pretty good stream quality. And then the presets, I'm on max with high and then psycho visual tuning. I've played with these a little bit, didn't seem, you know, drop this down to high. Um, you know, didn't seem to uh, impact the drop frames. Um, you know, st I was still getting them because the game itself was maxing out the CPU. So uh, to wrap this up, um, you know, I think the uh, the expectation was that I would get a better performance by swapping to the i9. I think that's obvious that that is what I achieved. Um, I was hopeful that I would get the. Uh, uh, half of the the performance or half of the utilization on the CPU by having the full 16 threads versus the 8 um, wasn't exactly expecting it but uh, that is exactly what happened um, so it goes to prove that if uh, you want to stream and game on the same PC you, you most definitely can um, 
and you can do it without sacrificing either game quality or your stream quality. You can have them both set very high and get a good result. Um, of course, if you don't want to uh, do that or if you don't want to spend the extra money, then by all means you could lower game settings, lower stream quality settings, and still achieve uh, a good result. But in my case, for an extra 100 bucks over the i7, I think it was definitely worth it. And I'm glad that uh, I did uh, um, uh, try it, right? Um, so if you're thinking about doing something similar, um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, let me know uh, um, what, what your thoughts are. Um, you know, I'm glad that I did the test. Yeah, still still seen some some skipped frames, you know, around 5% the, the one time over the same 15 minute uh, or so period of playing the game and the exact same part. Whereas before I was seeing 17, 20 uh, percent and, you know, just constantly seeing skipped frames. Um, is that a huge impact to the stream quality or the performance um, when you're watching it? I, maybe not, um, you know, but I just expect that if, um, you know, I'm going to spend uh, the money on a high-end PC that, um, you know, I get my money's worth out of it. So I think this was a good example of spending a little bit more and, you know, not having to use two separate PCs like some streamers do, but uh, still able to, um, you know, keep everything at a high setting. And, um, you know, just just going from the i7 to the i9 and the, uh, the, the additional threads, uh, reducing the utilization by half, which is, you know, awesome. So thank you for watching. Um, please uh, leave a leave a like on the video if you if you found this helpful, and uh, would love it if you would subscribe. Thanks.